So based on what you were just saying, what can we do to be more aware of the subtleties? Because I feel like I know there are signs that are happening constantly, and I just feel like I'm missing them. So I will answer this question about how to be open and interpret the signs that are being sent to you from the universe. I just want to invite uh, the viewers here on the video to subscribe to Alkistis TV if you haven't already and engage with these videos through your comments or by becoming a member of my channel so that you can get all these amazing benefits like our Wednesday Q&A calls. So thank you for that question. Yes, the truth is that there are signs coming to us all the time. There are signs from the universe, clear signs that you can trust so that you can always know which path to take, which decision to make. And generally, if the universe agrees with your moves or not. Those signs are even right here, right now, where, wherever you may be. The quantum physicist Max Planck said that when you change the way you look at things, the things you look at change. And this is not just some philosophy. This is something that has been proven in quantum physics through experiments like the double slit experiment or Schrodinger's cat. Sometimes we might miss the signs. We miss the signs where the universe is supporting our path because we are too busy or too stuck in our ways of thinking and looking at things. We are prisoners of our own thoughts, as Plato taught. You cannot escape a prison if you are not aware that you are in one. So the first thing to realize is that your habitual way of thought is not going to be looking at signs and realizing that the signs are around. So in a way, you have to wake up, okay? And oftentimes you'll need help for waking up through the assistance of a coach, a psychotherapist, uh, someone who will be there to help you awaken because especially in the beginning, you are in so deep asleep that you don't even realize you're asleep. It's really a question of attuning, like finding another radio station where you're in a station of appreciation, a, a state of awareness of the present moment, that this is where you are, not in the future where all your expectations and thoughts rush to. You're not in the past. You're not in the story of who you should be or could be or would be. You're not in the state of feeling like a victim of your circumstances. This is a whole new channel, but really it's about returning to the here and now. To simply say to yourself, breathe in, breathe out. Bring yourself to the present moment and look at what's happening with whole new eyes. I believe it was the French philosopher, writer Marcel Proust who said, it's not in traveling to new landscapes but in having new eyes. 
Now, just be open to the signs. Be open to the fact that there are signs here for you in the present moment. As Epictetus taught, it's not what happens to you, but how you perceive what's happening to you. For example, just yesterday I was on a call with a very talented healer, my friend Patricia Gozlan. And as we were talking, she stops to tell me that somehow there's a rainbow that just appeared in the sky. We appreciate the fact that that rainbow is not just there. It's there for us. For me in particular, because I was in mid-flow of explaining some new plans I had about my new book called How to Get What You Really, Really Want. And I found that that was a brilliant sign from the universe. This rainbow appeared to the person with whom I was talking to. Now, if we were completely other types of people, we may have neglected to notice that rainbow. Or even if we did notice it, we could have just thought, oh, that's a, a nice rainbow. The rain just stopped. And continued to do what was on our to-do list. You have to want to be in this dialogue with the universe. You have to feel that the universe is an extension of yourself and vice versa. You're the universe and you are collaborating, co-creating at every moment. So you have to be open to appreciating every moment for what it is. Amazing. As Socrates taught, wisdom begins with wonder. If you are going to have this jaded view or this um, sarcastic view of the universe, of the, oh, I know it all, seen that, been there, done that, big wow. If you're going to be in this um, just a way of neglecting and rejecting and uh, being stuck in where you are, where you might be at a certain moment, um, it's not going to happen. The magic is not going to happen. The miracles are not going to happen. The quantum reality is not going to be working for you to collapse the space-time between you and what you really, really want in life. Ultimately, what you really, really want is happiness and fulfillment. And doesn't it feel a lot better knowing and appreciating your relationship with the universe, this ongoing dialogue? Otherwise, you feel lonely, you feel cut off. And you see, this is the problem of modern man, that although science has helped us you know, reach the moon and create the supercomputers and make great leaps in science and technology and medicine. We've also cut ourselves off from a more spiritual or elevated perspective. As human beings, we feel detached from nature. We feel cut off. We have forgotten our connection. And the ironic thing is that the real scientists, the quantum physicists, the astrophysicists, they are actually sounding more and more mystic. They are actually seeing the connection between all things. So there's a kind of misinformation to the mass amount of people. They're not aware of the fact that science is converging with the spiritual uh, view of the universe where there is unity, where you are part of God and God is part of you. You are one and the same thing. You are one great being. As Albert Einstein said, there are only two ways to look at your life, as though nothing is a miracle or as though everything is a miracle. 
Now, this is Albert Einstein, all right, the, one of the greatest minds of all time, who sees everything as a miracle. Shouldn't we be taking the lead from such a great genius who is not just a spiritual person, but who founds his perspective on his knowledge of science, quantum physics, and, you know, really the deeper mysteries of uh, what is considered the material world. So you can deliberately get a message from the universe without random signs, like if birds are chirping uh, while you're thinking about certain things, or if you happen to find a dollar bill, or even a penny on the street. If you just think that these are random signs, that they have nothing to do with you, that they have nothing to do with the fact that you just noticed that birds are chirping while you're thinking of a specific thing you want to do in your life, or that you happen to uh, bump into someone. If you think that these things are all just random, if you think your mind has um, just happened upon them and that they have no significance for you, uh, this is a very limited view. This means that you're not tuned in and turned on. So how can we uh, create and become more aware of these moments? Now, some of these things will happen to you. They have to do with the environment around you. But I have created something that may actually help you do this process on purpose. As some of you may know, I've created a deck of cards that are called the Greek Oracle. Now, people go into the app or they'll pull a card from the deck when they want a message or insight from the universe. When you pull a card from the deck or press the button on the application, it will produce a so-called random message. The message that comes up though has really been selected by your own superconscious mind. The extension of your brain, what goes beyond your brain, that, that part of your mind that is connected to the supermind, that is who has chosen the card for you. So it's not going to be by chance which message comes up for you. So, for example, the card may say a message like, uh, it's time to let go. Or um, it may ask you a question. Is there someone you need to forgive right now? And other thought-provoking uh, questions or statements. So that's just a, a sidestep. I wanted to remind you that you have tools at your disposition, like my Oracle cards, that can help you speak and converse with the universe on purpose. But actually, this universe is speaking to you through everything. Usually, when you are in a relaxed and open state of mind, these things, um, you'll start noticing those things more. You'll start to actually expect this dialogue and expect that the universe has your back and is trying to communicate with you. Um, now, you might say, I have a very busy life. I have board meetings. I have meetings with clients. I can't be in a hey, dude, kind of relaxed state of mind. You don't have to be. You can simply have the intention, all right? You may be running around, but having the intention of connecting with the universe will make you more aware of when and how the universe is conversing with you. The signs are everywhere. 
see them, recognize them, sense them, be them, trust them. Whatever you do, keep this thought in mind. Everything is happening for me to learn and grow. The universe has my back. The universe is helping me to evolve. So all the signs will be good for you from now on if that is how you take them. Even what seems like a bad thing at first is actually a message. It's like your mother or your father um, scolding you, but with love, okay? it's The universe doesn't purposely make you feel bad. The universe wants to point something out to you. As Socrates used to say, nothing bad happens without some benefit in it. It's up to you to find the benefit. You have to be 100% committed to always find the opportunities in the challenges and obstacles that you are faced with. As the ancient Greek Stoic philosophers taught, the obstacle is the way. And when you show up authentically in the here and now, be yourself as a positive, open-minded, uh, being, you will see how every obstacle is an opportunity. It's the universe showing you its love, that it cares enough for you to put this obstacle in the way. And who is the universe but a part of your own self, okay? It's kind of like this, um, it's hard to it's actually hard to explain because you know we are living in the in the third third dimension where you know you see things as separate to you you have your body and this uh, the skin around you creates this barrier and boundary between you and the external but this is a very uh, low way of seeing reality there is a higher reality the fourth and fifth dimension, and more dimensions after that, in which you are actually connected to every single thing, from the stone to uh, the human beings that uh, you are around, to the sky, to the clouds. You are one with everything. We simply cannot perceive it right now through our senses, and our senses perceive a very small part of reality, just a sliver, a short, uh, a small part of reality. It, it doesn't, our senses do not cover all the spectrum. For example, we cannot see infrared light. We cannot see ultraviolet light. We cannot hear the same things uh, that dogs can hear, okay? Um, there are things that are invisible to us because our uh, senses are very limited. They are very good for helping us get from A to B. Uh, and we have evolved into those senses, uh, but they are only useful for kind of like getting your groceries done. You know, it's very basic things keeping you alive. All right, it's almost like the horses that they have blinders on, okay? It's so that they don't veer, go left and right, so they stick on the path and get you from A to B. But we too, we have our blinders on, you see? Because other than getting from A to B and getting a certain task done, there's a lot more to be seen and appreciated. There are many more levels of awareness. And of course, Plato spoke about this when he spoke about the higher realms, the realms of ideas, and the realms of forms. Um, I don't want to get into that right now. It's in my book, all of my books. I talk about Plato and his other dimensions. And as I said, that was Plato with the philosophy thousands of years ago, 
or the Indian philosophers may have referred to these other dimensions. But science is coming out and also showing us that these things really exist. There are parallel universes. So let's not limit ourselves. Let's go beyond our own blinders. And you can only do that through your sixth sense, through your openness and really listening to your intuition. For example, what if this video right here that you're listening to or watching is a sign for you to make the decision to launch a whole new era in your life from now on, an era where you uh, are in a much higher level of perception and appreciation of your life. Imagine if years from now, when you've realized your wildest dreams, that thing you really, really, really want in your life. Imagine you look back to this day where you heard my words here on this video telling you that you have much, much more potential than you realize, that you have the power, that the force is with you, you are one with the force, and that anything you set your heart and mind to, you can achieve. What if today I am that si signal or sign you've been looking for from the universe? I mean, the universe doesn't only speak to you with chirping birds or finding a penny on the street. <laughs> the universe speaks to you through videos. It just might be the exact message that sets you off on a whole new level, that you actually realize that right now you're sitting in the prison of your comfort zone. What if just listening to me right now was the sign you've been looking for? The sign you've been waiting for to live your life as you've always wanted, to break your limiting beliefs. It's up to you. Let's go back to the original quote of that great, famous quantum physicist, Max Planck, who said, when you change the way you look at things, the things you look at change. So I leave it to you, my friend. You can continue living in fear, insecurity, anxiety about the future, remorses and regrets about the past, or you can choose to live right in the here and now and embrace all the wealth and abundance and affluence, which is so open-handedly being offered to you by the universe. The choice is yours, fear or freedom. I look forward to reading your comments. I think this talk was quite juicy and has a lot of messages. Please do write your comments, share this video if you believe it's done you good, and become a member of Algestis TV so that you can get all these benefits. Also, I'd like to invite you to our Wednesday meetings Every Wednesday, you can enter the Zoom room and ask me about anything that is troubling you.